is Auckland good for part-time jobs? It is our largest city and obviously, you know, there will be a lot of businesses which are looking for part-time workers. So yeah, I think uh, Auckland is a pretty good uh, uh, place for, but I mean, so are any other cities in New Zealand because there's always a requirement for part-time workers. Does new rule changes create any difficulty for spouse visa? One of the only areas where it has become a little narrow uh, with the new rule changes is that in future, only those people who are uh, studying for a uh, level nine uh, masters or a level 10 PhD have a very clear uh, uh, pathway towards uh, getting the spouses into the country. And uh, for the others, uh, it's a bit more difficult uh, because uh, uh, what they have done is they kind of uh, cut down a little bit on uh, the ability of uh, uh, students to be able to come in with their spouses. So I think for the others, I'm just reading through the policy again while I'm talking to you guys. So the the first uh, uh, rule number one, if you're planning to come to New Zealand along with your spouse, it makes simple and straightforward. It makes sense uh, to choose a level nine or a level eight program, level, sorry, level nine or a level 10 program, which is a master's or a PhD, simple. You get in yourself into a master's or a PhD, Spouse can accompany you, no problem, on a work visa. If you're looking at a level eight program or a level seven program, then it has to be an exact match to a qualification on the long-term skills shortage list of New Zealand. And last week I sat down and looked at the long-term skills shortage list of New Zealand. There are not a lot of level eight programs there. There are a lot of level seven programs, which are mostly bachelors. So if you're going to choose a bachelor's, which is there on the long-term skill shortage list yes your spouse can come on a work visa or if you're choosing a level eight program and i think i saw only one level eight i think so i mean please don't uh, quote me on this because i'm just reading off the top of my head but i think there was only just one level eight program uh, in the long-term skill shortage list and that was in psychology so so there are not a lot of level eight programs on the long-term skill shortage list and most of the level sevens are all uh, uh the uh, bachelor's levels Interestingly, there was graduate diploma level seven and construction management and uh, construction related. There were two or three graduate diplomas. So it's an interesting policy.